Master Spring Television. Ours it is. Spring Television Channel 190 DTT on Star Times. On this show today, we're going to explore varieties of things having to do with kids, children, our daddies, and mommies also can learn. We have various segments on Kitty's World with Lola, just like the interview sessions with unique and amazing kids. We're also going to be teaching different life manners and matters as related to children. Exciting guests sessions and more all right I want you to join us every Saturday just at 1 p.m. on this same television station to enjoy this exciting children's show I am Lola and don't you worry today promises to be great we'll go on a short break and when we are back we shall have the teaching segment you know how it is Lola is ready to teach and I'm sure you're ready to learn all right kid is well with Lola Lahia Mandela was an anti-apartheid activist who gave his all for the elimination of what has been described as the world knows the vicious rule of the unjust and man's inhumanity against man. He was born July 18, 1918 in Mveso, South Africa, educated and trained as a successful legal practitioner. He took up the gauntlet of a human activist against segregation by the minority of whites through primitists in South Africa. At the climax of his trial for treason orchestrated by the minority South African government. The great crusader for democratic equality was prepared to pay the supreme sacrifice to establish majority rule in his native land. He told white jurists that if achieving freedom for his people was worth his life, he was prepared to die. Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in Robin Island described as the most notorious prison in the world. It was from this same prison that he came out as a free man to assume office as South Africa's first black president in 1994. Western Spring Television identifies Nelson Mandela as a watershed character in history. Aminatu, the legendary queen of Zazao, is best known to historians as Queen Amina of Zaria, an old world town and capital of the Hausa state of Zazao. Amina was a great warrior and the first woman to rule the ancient kingdom of Zazao. Her 34 years as queen witnessed an unprecedented expansion of Zazao by conquests. Queen Amina of Zaria belongs to the class of Amazons by the might of Harami and her strings of conquests. She opened Zaria to transborder trade and was said to have initiated Kola nut cultivation in the ancient kingdom. The Hausa Muslim figure was born in 1533 and died in 1610 at the age of 77 years. Folklores remember Aminatu, the queen of Zazao, as a brave, smart and talented leader whose giant statue now adorns the National Arts Theatre in Lagos, Nigeria, while many educational institutions bear her name. 
Western Spring Television identifies Queen Amina as a watershed character in history. for us to learn. Are you ready to learn? Yeah. Very good. So today we want to learn about respect. Yes, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. -E respect. All right, let's talk about respect. What is respect? Respect is the sense of worth or personal value that you attach to something or someone. You see, you can respect something or someone. Many of us children think we can only respect someone, but you can respect something too. It's important to respect your elders, your own peers, and those younger than you. Yes, I mean those younger than you. Here are ways you can show respect, in case you're wondering. Number one, give people attention when they speak to you. Don't be busy looking anywhere else like this, like that, or even play with your toys when someone is talking to you. Yes, many of us children do this. You know, dad will be talking to you and you'll be like, yes, dad. Yes, I can hear you. Or mommy will say, how was school today? Do you have any homework to do? And yeah, you carry your face like this. Uh, yes, um, um, just because you're playing with your games or something. I mean, that's not a sign of respect. When anyone is talking to you, maintain eye contact with them and ensure that you pay keen attention to them. It's a sign of respect. That is number one. Number two. Ways to show respect is tell the truth and be honest. What did I say, children? Tell, tell the truth and be honest. honest. Remember, the truth will always set you free. No. Uh, Lola, if I tell the truth, oh, I'll be punished, I'll be beaten. Well, maybe you could be be beaten or punished, but you know your conscience will be free like a bird. You won't be holding it in your heart, and you know the conscience will not be beating you. Remember, the conscience beaten is more terrible than mommy spanking you, okay? So show respect by telling the truth always and be honest, okay? Now, let me go to another way of showing respect. Number three. Respect your environment and not pollute it. Remember from my definition, I said earlier that you can respect and show value for something or someone. Our environment is something. Respect your environment and don't pollute it. How do we pollute our environment? When you are done with your snack or something and then you throw it on the floor, like that. You're polluting the environment. Sometimes when you burn bushes or you join all the people, all right, and then you're burning your garbage, your liters right there on the road or beside the road or where the smoke can just disturb other people, you're polluting the environment. So respect the environment by not polluting it. Children, I hope you're learning. Number four way of showing respect is, hmm, Accept customs or culture of other diff people different from yours. Yes, accept customs or culture of other people that is different from yours. What are we talking about? Say language, other people's manner of dressing, other people's type, you know, food, and several other things that has to do with culture. I bet some of you, when you see some food from other cultures, you go, eh, you go, 
ew, oh, that's not nice. You know the food you are saying ew about is what another child from another culture will eat and even lick the plates for, okay? So we need to respect other people's culture. That you don't do it this way doesn't mean it is not valid. So when you see another child who dances in another, in a particular culture, maybe like this, and you're wondering, eh, is that how to even dance? Is that how you should even dance? No, just respect because it has to do with their culture, all right? So don't look at other people from other culture like alien, like, eh, who is this one? You know, sometimes in our classrooms, we have children, from different culture, all right? So respect other people's culture, respect their language, respect their dressing, and other way of life that has to do with that culture. And lastly, very, very important way to show respect is respect yourself oh yes respect yourself what does it mean to respect myself it means to be proud of my own qualities my uniqueness and achievement achievements pardon me so now let's talk about this look at lola all right lola is not tall like you know agbani darego all right lola is not so plum like my friends but you see i love the way i look all right if you happen to be happen to be a chubby child love yourself for it you don't have to be slim like every other person and if you're slim like lola then be happy about it so you should be proud of yourself that is what it means to respect yourself be proud of your own qualities there are things that are unique and special about you you should love it and don't want to be like any other person be proud in who you are if you do not respect yourself it will be so difficult for you to respect other people i hope you have learned how to show respect to those around you to things around you and to yourself children have you learned today yeah. beautiful all right so we'll go on the short break and when we come back we are going into the game session who wants to play games with lola yeah all right then so we'll go on the short break don't take change the dial stay with us children the fun is still going on don't go anywhere see you soon Minatu, the legendary queen of Zazao, is best known to historians as Queen Amina of Zaria, an old world town and capital of the Hausa state of Zazao. Amina was a great warrior and the first woman to rule the ancient kingdom of Zazao. Her 34 years as queen witnessed an unprecedented expansion of Zazao by conquests. Queen Amina of Zaria belongs to the class of Amazons by the might of Harami and her strings of conquests. She opened Zaria to trans-border trade and was said to have initiated Kola North cultivation in the ancient kingdom. The Hausa Muslim figure was born in 1533 and died in 1610 at the age of 77 years. Folklores remember Aminatu, the queen of Zazao, as a brave, smart and talented leader whose giant statue now adorns the National Arts Theatre in Lagos. Nigeria, while many educational institutions bear her name. Western Spring Television identifies Queen Amina as a watershed character in history.
the ini mini mini mos. Okay, so let's have you use the microphone and tell us the word. Mathematics. Really? Please applaud him. Fantastic. That is correct. Mathematics is the word. I have another one. I have another one. I have another one. Just 10 seconds. Look at it. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. That's it. So who knows what it is? Yes, who knows what it is? I had Mars answer the first one correctly. So yes, Chantal, the birthday girl. Yes, what's the word? Five. Mm, no, not quite. Who else wants to try? Yes, yes, it begins with letter S. That's the clue. It begins with letter S. Mars again. Shanta, okay, well, another trier. If not, I'm going to just, yes, pass the microphone to, yeah, okay, Olamide, Olamide, you've not had a go. Suspicious. Huh. Can we have the word on the screen again? Not quite, not quite. That is not suspicious, no. Yes, who wants to try? Last time to try, if not, yes, okay. Give Mars the microphone, please. So fast. Ah, so Sebastian, no, no, no. Everybody say Lola. Lola. Aha, uh -huh. you have to say well done to me because you didn't get the word. Do I have another person that wants to try, try, try? Please raise it up, raise it up, try. No, okay then, I'll say the word. The word is spacious, spacious. Applaud Lola. Applaud me. Oh, yes. Okay. So the next word. Let's see the next word. There we go. Look at it. Don't even tell me to stew. Not stew our rice. Okay. Sit, sit. Yes. Um, so where's the microphone? Okay. So pass it to Okwamikbo. Yes. Western. Are you sure? Yes. Correct. Please applaud him. Oh yes, that is Western, Western, W-E-S-T-E-R-N, Western. I have two more to go. Who's ready for the two? Oh, okay, let's have the next word. Look at it. Whoa. What is that? What is that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is that? Eh, 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 eh. Ten seconds, five Four, three, two, one. Okay, so yes, effect, let's have you. Ultra. Say it again. Portra. Portra. Mm. Sit, 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 sit. Ah, uh, that is not correct, but that was good. You tried. Yes, let's have, um, yes. Raptor. Huh. Say it again. Raptor. Ah, really? Is it? I don't think so. But that was a good attempt. You're almost there. Yes, who else wants to try? Maybe you should put, a, put, put the word up for us one more time. Just a few more seconds. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the word. Who, 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 who? Look at that. Look at that. Okay, just sit and then tell us the word. Yes, Miles. Let's have you. Raptor. Ah, are you sure he's a raptor? Oh, you want to applaud Lola again? One more person, okay? Let's see the person who will get it right. Pass the microphone to him, please. Let's see. Laptop. There is a letter R there, and there is no R in laptop. Okay? Just sit and talk. You don't have to stand to answer, please. Okay? Chantel, the last one. The last one, okay? Effects, are you trying? Not sure. Uh, not quite. Okay, can we reveal the word now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to see the word? Okay, so let's see. Look at that. Spell the word. P-O-R-T-A-L. That is what? Porto. Please applaud Lola. I hope you're just going to tell me this last one. Okay, now look at the camera, everybody. Look at the camera and see, see the next word. That's the last one for today. This is so simple, 
so 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 simple so simple okay so yes you have not answered any question today so let's pass the microphone to him yes national, national fantastic please applaud him applaud him a louder that is great thank you so much for being part of the game and for those who have answered my question and revealed the word Mm. Lola has something for you. All right, thank you so much, viewers. We will go on the break, and this is the part I love most. We have our super kid right in the studio already. She's talented, she's beautiful, she's smart. You want to meet her. So stay glued to this channel station. We will be right back. KWWL! of guns is traced to China. The Chinese had developed a technology civilization that produced devices identified as guns at about 1000 AD. By the end of the 13th century, the devices had become true guns and described as metal barrel firearms that fired single projectiles which occluded the barrel. When did gun become an instrument of war? The first battles to be decided by firearms were between French and Spanish soldiers. The early 16th century warfare included Magnano in 1515, Bicocha in 1522, and Pavia in 1525. The wars were fought in Italy. The gun is a weapon of destruction and death, but humanity sees it as a potent instrument of family destruction. People with guns feel safer even if they don't display it. Western Spring Television identifies history of guns as a watershed event in history. five amazing fun facts I bet you never knew about Christianity. Number one, there are over 2.4 billion Christians worldwide. Amazing fun fact number two, the Bible is one of the best-selling books of all time, with more than 100 million copies sold every year. Most Christians believe in heaven and hell. The Bible is the most translated book in the world, with more than 3,000 languages. Amazing fun fact number five. Most Christians throw science out of the window without realizing that most scientists are Christians. Hello, I am Pastor Steve Akinwumi. And I am Dr. Adeoye Uyewole. Join us as we highlight and discuss day-to-day -day issues pertaining to the day-to-day -day living of every Christian. Issues in Christendom shows every Sunday on Western Spring Television, Channel 190, only on Star Times. Sports is a culture on its own. It has its own language, its own people, with their own way of life. of sports is never void of actions, stories, dramas, and scandals. I guess you need a sports show that can walk the walk and talk the talk. On this show, we answer all your sporting questions. The whens, the whys, the wheres, and even the what ifs. Sports Spring is that show that will give you that new lease of life you've been looking for in sports journalism. Join me, Joseph Atewe. And your sports Amazon, Mengi Ennis. On this station, Western Spin Television, Channel 190, only on Star Times. Let's talk sports. Let's speak the most universal language of the world. Nelson, 
Rolly Hialahia Mandela was an anti-apartheid activist who gave his all for the elimination of what has been described as the world knows the vicious rule of the unjust and man's inhumanity against man. He was born July 18, 1918 in Mveso, South Africa, educated and trained as a successful legal practitioner. He took up the gauntlet of a human activist against segregation by the minority of whites through primitivist in South Africa. Africa. At the climax of his trial for treason, orchestrated by the minority South African government, the great crusader for democratic equality was prepared to pay the supreme sacrifice to establish majority rule in his native land. He told white jurists that if achieving freedom for his people was worth his life, he was prepared to die. Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in Robin Island, described as the most notorious prison in the world. It was from this same prison that he came out as a free man to assume office as South Africa's first black president in 1994. Western Spring Television identifies Nelson Mandela as a watershed character in history. Arrested. Affected. Sound. Found. What do we see? What do we say? Flowing from a spring. A pack A to Z. Check and confirm. Ever is pounding current events. Traveling down from the business gist to the globally arising happenings, to the sports news, to the bittersweet infos. Guided transmission. Even diffusion. Vast and past. Detailed facts are fled. Within seconds, nuggets of words that flew across borders are fired. Stories short and long, wrapped in bundles of words, broken and dissected as it is, except misheard. This is the news as it is. The Korean War of 1950-1953 pitched North and South Korea against each other in response to intrigues by nations beyond their border with different interests from those canvassed by the two brother nations. The Korean War had all the nuances of an external conflict induced by powers that were interested in subjugating North and South Korea. Japan had leveraged on its military power to annex Korea in 1900 and imposed a military union that did not sit well with the citizens. Japan not only lost its war of conquest against Korea, all its powers were obliterated by the effect of the World War II. The end of World War II got Korea divided into two nations along 38 parallel lines by the instrumentality of the United States of America and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. The Korean War lapsed into a Cold War when it stopped the prying eyes of external forces into the internal affairs of a nation now divided along its north and southern territories. Western Spring Television identifies the Korean War as a major event in history. Madu Bello, a prince royal, was born the 6th of December 1910 at Rabba Village, Sokoto, northwestern Nigeria. His father was a district head and heir apparent to the Sultanate throne from the house of Osmano Danfodio, a religious and social reformer who brought the Habe dynasty under the Fulani Caliphate in the beginning of the 19th century. Ahmadu Bello raised the bar of political consciousness and participation when, in 1944, he engineered at the establishment of the Northern People's Congress NPC as the first political party in Northern Nigeria and the rallying point for politicians in the region before independence. History will not forget Ahmadu Bello for his charisma and political sagacity which provided easy passage for his kinsmen to assume political and administrative positions in Nigeria's post-independence era. The distinguished elder statesman and Sadaun of Sokoto has his 
face on this country's 200 naira currency as a mark of honor to one of the architects of Nigeria's independence. Western Spring Television identifies Ahmadu Bello as a watershed character in history. Aminatu, the legendary queen of Zazao, is best known to historians as Queen Amina of Zaria, an old world town and capital of the Hausa state of Zazao. Amina was a great warrior and the first woman to rule the ancient kingdom of Zazao. Her 34 years as queen witnessed an unprecedented expansion of Zazao by conquests. Queen Amina of Zaria belongs to the class of Amazons by the might of Harami and her strings of conquests. She opened Zaria to transborder trade and was said to have initiated kola nut cultivation in the ancient kingdom. The Hausa Muslim figure was born in 1533 and died in 1610 at the age of 77 years. Folklores remember Aminatu, the queen of Zazao, as a brave, smart, and talented leader whose giant statue now adorns the National Arts Theatre in Lagos, Nigeria, while many educational institutions bear her name. Western Spring Television identifies Queen Amina as a watershed character in history. For children okay so here is the time we have all been waiting for we have our super kid right here beside me and you're going to be meeting her right about now super kid will you please let our audience know who you are let them into your world yes so tell us your name your and few other things you'd like us to know about you Good afternoon, viewers and Good afternoon. My name is Ayabode Rintin. Hmm. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. You're 10. Okay, tell us the, the, the name of your school, your class, what you like to do, and what you're super good at. Okay? Yes, go on. I attend Rosewood International High School. Hmm. At where? In which states? Because you've been watched all over the world. Okay, that's very good. And what class are you in? Ori Reni Temi. GSS1. You're in GSS1. Ah, senior Ori Reni Temi. <laughs> okay, so yes, tell us about you. Tell, tell us your best color, your best food, and all that. My best color is purple. Purple? Wow, for the royalties, okay? And your best food? <laughs> Say it, don't be shy about it. What's your best food? I'm sure everyone at home wants to know what Ori Ray's best food is. Ori Ray Nitemi. What's your best food now? Is last, Spider last, it's to be. Ah, I even thought you would say a malang, baguette, or something, something. Oh, spaghetti. So you can eat spaghetti in the morning, afternoon, and at night. <laughs> like you like spaghetti okay that's very good and so what talent or what gifts do you have I know you have several of them so tell us what talent or gifts do you have and you think is special because that's the reason you are our guest on the program today yes I I could play a keyboard hmm and and tell us, I know one other part, yes? I want everybody to hear it. And 
could do the right thing. Uh, fantastic. Only really to me is an eloquent speaker, and that is a talent. It's a gift. It's a skill that is not just ordinary. Ori Reni Temi has interviewed several dignitaries and personalities. All right, she's our young super journalist. That is one side of her. And the other side of her is that she plays the keyboard so well. The piano, boom, 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 boom. I can't even play to save my life. But let me ask you a few questions, Ori Reni Temi. Is that fine? Yes. Okay. So tell us, since when have you been interviewing people? Because I know that you've interviewed quite a number of people. Like you put the microphone in their mouth like this. I say, hello, yes, and this went to know da, da, da. And you know, who are the people you have even interviewed in the past? Tell me. And tell our audience, viewers. Commissioners, really? You've met commissioners? Yes. Wow. How does it feel to interview them? How do you feel? It feels so great. Great. Wow, that's very good. So since when have you been interviewing people? Mid last year. Mid last year. Wow, that's very good. That's very good. Okay, so let me ask you some other questions. Now, how did you come about the ability to speak well? Because it takes someone who is eloquent and you know speaks well, you know, to to do this, to interview commissioners. And on the screen you can see a picture of Ori Temi where here she's interviewing someone. Please, who are you interviewing right in that um, picture on the screen? Can you remember his name? Ah, but he's a commissioner. You know he's a commissioner, right? Yes. Okay, you're trying to remember, right? Yes, but I know that is a very uh, great personality you're interviewing there. So um, let me ask you, so how did you learn to speak right? to speak well and, you know, be so confident? How did it happen? Because it's not so for many other children. Yes? For my school. Your school, so you learn to speak right from your school. Yes. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, so now let's go to the other side of you that plays the keyboard so well, the piano. So who taught you how to play the piano? Yes? Who taught you how to play? I, I have a music teacher. Oh, in your school too? No. Okay, at where? Just at home? From Jubilee Baptist Church. Oh, from your church. Wow. So since when have you been learning to play keyboard and since when have you been playing it on your own? Mid last year. Ah, it seemed something just happened about mid last year and you just you just decided, oh, I'm going to just let out all this talent and skill and I'm just going to start doing it, right? Yes. Wow, that's good. So you can play a couple of songs, right? Yes. Okay, do you play for functions, maybe events? Have you been getting invitations to come play for events? Don't worry. This program will make you become popular and people will start paying you to... to to come play at their events. Would you like that? Yes. Oh, give me a high five. That's it. Okay, then. Okay, so let me ask you um, as well. How do you develop your skill? Because I want to believe when you started learning the keyboard, you just didn't start and then you started playing all of a sudden. So how do you practice? How did you learn as much as you know today? How did you come about that? Yes. Ah, uh, but yes, mom will say, "Are we ready to me? Go and watch the person. Ah, uh, mom, I want to practice. I want to play the kids. I want to, you know, uh, uh, please, mommy, just five minutes more, pretty please, isn't it?" Yeah. So it must mean that you have been practicing and practicing and practicing, right? That's very good of you. So, what do you have to say to other children who have other gifts? What will you advise them about? I would advise them to use their talents. Hmm, to use their talent. Hmm. So, like you are using your talent, how are you using your own talent? Tell me. Yes, how have you been using your talent? Playing in your church? Do you play in your junior church? Yes. Um, do you play where your friends come around or something? Or have you even thought of teaching another child to play keyboard? Have you done that? Yes. So you've taught some children to play the keyboard? No, my sister. Oh, your sister. Oh, that's so good. So how well does she play now? Is she learning very fast? 
Yes. Oh, that's super good. Ori Reni Temi, thank you so much for honoring our invitation uh, here. And um, I want you, audience, our uh, viewers, to know that you are going to see Ori Reni Temi play for us today. Will you put your hands together for her right now? Yes. Yeah, so we'll go on a short break and then Ori Reni Temi will be playing the keyboard for us. And I'm sure it's going to be so melodious. And let's hope maybe Lola can dance as well. All right, we'll go on the short break. We'll be right back. And we're going to be having Ori Reni Temi play the keyboard for us. Thank you so much. Don't touch the dial. Fumilayo Ransom Kuti was an educationist and advocate of women's rights. She was recognized for her vitriolic comments against colonial policy of taxation as it affected the Nigerian women. Bere, as fondly addressed by her women followers, Fumilayo championed the initiation of universal adult suffrage, which gave an unprecedented leeway for women to contest elective offices and power to exercise voting rights. Married to a foremost educationist and teacher, Israel Oladotun Ransom Kuti, the first president of Nigeria Union of Teachers, Fumilayo Ransom Kuti was the mother of children who inherited her spirit of activism. Olufela and Be Ololari, the former, a renowned musical legend. She was the first female student of Abe Okuta Grammar School and the first female to own and drive a car in Nigeria. The award recipient of member of order of Nigeria MON and Lenin Peace Prize was born on 25th October 1900 and was killed on the 13th April 1978 by rampaging road soldiers in Lagos. Western Spring Television identifies Fumilayo Ransom Kuti as a watershed character in history. Olayinka Herbert Macaulay, politician, nationalist, and journalist, was the first Nigerian to qualify as a civil engineer, surveyor, and architect. Born on November 14, 1864, Herbert Macaulay was the founder of Nigeria's National Democratic Party, the first political party in pre independent Nigeria. Scholars of Nigeria's political history describe Herbert Macaulay as the intellectual bulldog of. 19th century Nigerian nationalist movement. In the deference to his qualities as founder and leader of two foremost political parties, Nigeria National Democratic Party, NNDP, and National Council of Nigerian Citizens, NCNC. His matchless versatility in the party organization and control kept the British colonialists on their toes in the entire span of his active life. After his death on 7th May 1946, Herbert Macaulay remains a hero of his country, which recognized his anti-colonial struggles. Today, Nigeria's 10 Naira coin bears his oval face and trademark moustache. Western Spring Television identifies Herbert Macaulay as a major character in history. The Berlin Conference of 1884 defined the configuration of Africa, which hitherto existed as a continent of multiple kingdoms and empires under native rulers. The conference, otherwise referred to as Congo Conference, regulated European colonization and trade in Africa as initiated by German leader Otto von Bismarck. The Berlin Conference is often called the scramble for and partitioning of Africa as each of the imperial powers carved separate portions of the continent for themselves without recourse to racial and cultural identities and differences. 137 years after the Berlin Conference was held, Africa remains a legitimized playground for European nations that sought to exploit its wealth and resources and manipulate its human capital to promote trade and investments of Western powers. 
Western Springer Television identifies Berlin Conference as a major event in history. fingers are on the keys. I'm wondering how she's doing it. Just play for us more. Let's go. me I mean she was just playing without looking at any notes like she has it all together a big thank you to everyone who has viewed this program and will still view thank you so much for joining us today already to me you are really a super kid can we put our hands together for her one more time thank you so much and um, this is where we're just going to be yeah hanging it for today we want to thank you our viewers thank you our active audience put your hands together for yourself and of course our special guest again now i wouldn't want to go without saying happy birthday to chantal she is our radio etiquette diva and it's her birthday today chantal happy birthday to you all right and i would have loved for us to to sing um happy birthday so Chantel, let me have you, let me have you. Chantel, my etiquette. She's always the one sending us, sending us the etiquette notes and teaching us on radio. Come, come, Chantel. We're all going to sing happy birthday song for her. What are you to me? Can you play happy birthday tune for her? Okay, this is Chantel. Okay, so yes, happy birthday. So can we sing the birthday song for Chantel?
tell everybody? Happy birthday to you. Sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Happy 60th birthday, Chantel. God bless you. We love you. All right. And kid is word with Lola. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We hope that next week you're going to join us on the same television station. All right. For a fresh episode of Kid is word with Lola next Saturday on Western Spring Television Channel 190 DTT right here on Star Times. Don't forget to join us again. Until then, stay inspired and enjoy your week. Have a good day. Mwah, Lola Kiss.